What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Wavy Z. You already know this is Wavy Gang. If you're new to my channel and you mess with my vibe, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. So if you're if you've been on my channel like a year ago, I made a video talking about how I lost my V card at 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? But I have a lot of new information that I found out about that video. And if you're not know what I'm talking about, you gotta stick around to see what I'm talking about. So I thought I'd make a part, not a part two, but it's like a updated version i guess all right y'all so i don't know what she's just gonna be in here listening i guess i don't hopefully she doesn't know what i'm talking about all right y'all so basically i might just be repeating everything in my other video i might not um that video was a year ago and i found out some new information like i said so let's just get into this but i think i just i was 12 years old or i, tur I just turned 13 it was around there it's like it was around there either 12 or 13 years old so i was with this female you know what i'm saying my ex we were together we were together at the time i think it was together for like a year and um we just hit like a year. I always talk about some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna go cap, bro. Mom, if you're watching this, you already know what happened, so it's... So you can fight me if you want, Mom. So we went on like a road trip to Vegas, and like we had fun over there, you know what I'm saying? And we started planning, bro. We were, man, we were both 13 or 12 at the same time, bro. The whole time we are sitting there talk, planning it, like, we need to do some stuff, bro. We need, we need to get active, because we've been together for a year. We thought we were going adults. And on our way home from the road trip, we're like, all right, it's going down, bro. Like, she was, cause she spent the night at my house. I, oh, she always spent the night at my house. Um, I know, 13 years old, spending the night at each other's house. Imagine, we started planning out, like, on the car ride home, cause we were there, we had like, an eight hour car ride. We were like, all right, you know what I'm saying? We're growing up, we're old enough, bro. We were not old enough, bro. So yeah, we got home, bro. We are, it's nighttime, we go, we go to bed. I had to see my mom and dad, let her sleep over. But I still had to sleep in a whole other room, but they thought that was gonna stop me, bro. They thought it was gonna stop me. And no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, bro. But, um, they, yeah, so they basically thought that was gonna stop me. We both planned it out, you know what I'm saying? Too, oh, I didn't mention that. All right, so we came back the day before school, before Monday, like, before Monday was like a weekend. We came back, it was morning, we're like, all right, we need to wake up extra early. We need to, before everybody else wakes up. I think we were like the only ones who woke up early, the earliest, because we were like, older than other other kids in my house and they woke up like later so it's like i sneak up in the room mind you my me and my brother and my sister shared a room we had like three beds in our room my brother i think he slept in the living room no 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 no. this is what happened I, my my brother ended up sleeping in my grandma's room and i ended up sleeping in the living room so my brother was in my grandma's room and my sister was in the room yes the room and so was my ex you know what i'm saying i sneak in the room at like six o'clock in the morning like 5 45 and I'm saying I get active. No. That's a way you mess up, man. Yeah, we get active. You know what I'm saying? It's a little awkward. Kind of get in that much detail because it's like, uh, I'm saying I got family to watch my video. It's like respect for her. It was like quiet, and my sister was in the room, bro. She was dead asleep, bro. And we were trying to be extra quiet. Like it was just like, but we, but we, we finished, but we got we got like done. I felt like a man. I felt like. A, like a 13, I have like a 12 year old man, you feel me? Then I get ready for school, like nothing happened. My sister and my brother finally wake up, they get ready for school. Basically we go to school the whole day. Two weeks pass by, bro, like two weeks. I'm like, my mom, I wake up in the morning. My mom like, Xavier, come here. Like she's crying. I'm like, what's going on, bro? Like, what's, what's good, but who's crying? Like, what are you crying for? And she's like, um, dang, can I say this? Yeah, I can say this, but if I can't say this, then sorry, mom, dad, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all gotta chill out, bro. But, <laughs> She said, did you steal one of my, I'm not gonna say what it was, but if you know what it was, then you're, you're good. If you don't, you're too young. But I'm like, no, no, what, no, who, no. She's like, I know you did. I just got a text from one of your friends snitching on you. I'm like, hold up. And that's how, I, hold on. I, I knew something was fishy, bro. Because we didn't, we agree not to tell anybody our business like that. So we're like, all right, nobody needs to know because that's our business, you feel me? So we didn't tell nobody. At least that's what I thought, you feel me? My ex tells my sister, because they're close. Before I got caught, I found out my ex told my sister, so like, I, now I was like, when well, my mom said, when if your friend snitched on you, I'm like, it was my little sister, bro. First of all, if you're my ex when you're watching this, I was wrong, because I know it was my little sister who did it, and you told her, bro. I didn't tell no friends about that, bro. It's like, who? Who told you? Who texted me? She said, she's like, it deleted. How does just delete, bro? So she go to off. She went off and off, bro. She was like, whole time she was crying. I was like, no, I didn't do that, bro. I don't even know how. She was just denying it because because I did steal one of those. You know, so like this, that was something that gave me away. So she's all whatever. Get to say that. I stay the stay in your room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me your phone. She took my phone. So then she left to go get groceries with everybody. And my dad woke up and he stayed there at the house. 
And I was scared of my dad. I thought she was gonna tell him to wait till I tell your dad. So I was like, wait till I tell my dad, bro. So I'm, I thought I was doing something. I was like, Dad, mom thinks I lost my big hood and I stole your little things. But oh, I, I was like, I did it. I swear. He's all, you have one chance to tell me you're not in trouble. I can't trust my parents like that because I knew they'd be like, all right, you're in trouble. But so I was like, nah, I didn't do it. He's all, all right. Thank you for being honest. I thought everything was cool. My mom comes home. She's in a good mood, bro. I'm like, all right, I think everything is good. I think they're just tripping, but I think I'm good. And I remember this, like, we were watching, like, Try Not To Laugh videos, I think. I don't know. I was 13, bro. We were in the living room watching that. My, I, and my mom was being nice, but we she was laughing at the video so hard, but I thought everything was cool. I thought I got, I thought I, I thought I passed it, bro. Turns out, my dad told my mom to keep me occupied. Let me just get into this, because my last story time, I did not know this, bro. We have camera systems in my ho around our house, bro, and in the outside. Well, my mom was keep me occupied. My dad told her that because he went and unscrewed the camera from the front of the door, from the front door. He put it in my, already had something on my door that looked like a smoke alarm or something like that. I don't know, it wasn't a smoke alarm, but it was something. He, he screwed the camera above my door and let, he went live on it. The screen recorded that, I think. He, and then he put the camera back in the front door. He calls me, he calls me into his room talking about some, you have one more chance, tell me if you did this. And I was like, I thought we were good, but I was like, no, I didn't. He's all, what's this? And he shows me a camera. Uh, he, showed, he showed me the camera and it was a video, a live video of my room. Nobody was in there, it was just my bed. He showed me my bed. I was like, I mean, I'm exactly what I put my head down. I was like, I'm sorry. And I started crying for me because I'm 13 and I felt bad. So I was like, I'm sorry. He's all, nah, give me your phone. He's all, go to your room. And like, my dad gets heated, bro. And I'm surprised I didn't get what I deserved, bro, because I really didn't. He literally just, all, I got, all that happened was I took my, they took my phone from me. 30 minutes later, they call me into the living room. My, my mom's like, my dad's like, I showed your mom the video. They're always lying, bro. And then she was like, well, we, what we decided, no, they first, they talked to me, did, how many times did you use this? They're still so paranoid, they're like, you might have a kid, I'm saying I was old enough too, so, they were like, you might have a kid, we gotta get this straight shit. And then they were like, you need to tell Blank to tell her mama, we're gonna do it for her. I'm like, all right, y'all gotta chill out, just hold on, I'm taking this all in, but, so, I call her actually before they took my phone. I was like, they're tripping, bruh. Uh, they think this. I was setting it up. I thought I was so smart. I was like, and she's all really. Why would they even think that? We're, we're just kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, yeah, all right. So mom reads those text She's all shut the f up because I already confessed to it. She was like, shut up. You guys both try to trick me. So I called her and she was all, we did it. And I was like, they have a camera. And she's all, what? Remember, they didn't actually have a camera and they just tricked me. They screwed it in there to trick me. There wasn't no camera in the room for me. Just trying to get that out of the way. That's why I wanted to get that way in the video because I didn't know if it was true or not. She's freaking out like, what, a camera? Like, because my dad, I think only my dad thought about like her privacy and all that and my privacy. I don't care about my privacy. But they're like, she was like, Yo, you need to tell your mom or I'll tell, I'm going to tell her. So she told her mom, so I think she got her punishment, whatever. So I was like, dang, bro. Like, dang. Yeah, she didn't be able to, she wasn't able to come over for like three months. And we were at low-key, like a long-term relationship. Not long-term, that was like, but like a long-term relationship. It was already like a year and a half. So by the time she came over, it was like Christmas. I remember we went to this thing called in Albuquerque, in New Mexico. It's the River of Lights. I don't know if you guys got it where you are, but it's like a bunch of Christmas lights and like a, I don't know. But we went there and I was like, Dad, it's been, I learned my lesson. Can I bring Blink to her over here and we could start over and woo, woo, woo. And all this, he's like, all right, I trust you. I was like, all right, I'm saying. So she finally got to come over. And then on Christmas day, they gave me my phone back. So I was like, all right, so. Low key, I could have got so much worse because low key, my parents like, were spamming, bro. They took it so well. I don't know why they took it so well. I think they were just proud about how they tricked me at the end of the story. But let me know how you feel about it. Like, I was tripping, but because my dad just told me. That's why I'm making this video. My dad just told me like two days ago what he did to put that camera there. So I'm like, all right. For me, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you press the subscribe button and drop a like on this video. Let's get it recommended, bro. Appreciate everybody for watching. We're on the road to 1K. We're so close, bro. Literally like 80, like 78 more. Subscribe, bro. Literally subscribe. That's what I'm telling you guys, it's free, it's right there. If you're watching this video, subscribe. We can do this, bro. 
Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.